morning to you. Minnie here. I'm in my garden. Thought I'd stop in here this morning with my coffee before I get ready to go for my day. Whatever's gonna happen in my day. I don't have any firm plans today. That's not true. I actually, I use my phone to keep my calendar, which I shouldn't even have a calendar if I'm retired, but okay. I have about eight things to do. Quite a few of them have to do with the garden. I can't remember what they are right now. Sitting on my swing this morning. Uh, I bought this at Ace Hardware. I want to say it was 250 when I bought it. And I paid to have them put it together. You know there's a word. Assemble it. Got it. Man, it takes me so long, right? And just one day after I moved in here, uh, two gentlemen in long sleeve shirts and slacks carried it in. Now that I think about it, I believe one was the owner of the local, well, there's there's three or four aces uh, in this uh, southeastern Arizona area. Uh, Bisbee, Sierra Vista, a, a couple of others I can't think of. And now that I think about it, it was the owner because I've seen the owner and his wife at Ace. Uh, he, he's quite the gentleman, doesn't really look like he's uh, doing gardening things, but uh, he's, uh, anyway, I believe he was one of the ones. Nevertheless, I love this swing. <laughs> I've always got to have a swing and it's you know, pretty hardy. It's really held up under rain and wind and occasionally the cushions fall off in, in the, the big winds, but generally, and I leave them out all winter, if, if you can really call it winter here. Anyway, good morning. Let's have a cup. Let's have a sip of coffee, shall we? I quit drinking coffee for a couple years when my daughter was a teenager. Why? Because my daughter was a teenager. I'll say no. I just needed to. I needed to find ways to be a more calm parent. So I quit drinking coffee. And the way I did was not super intentional. I had a cold and couldn't stand the taste. Uh, and in that week, I was able to quit. I already had the headaches from the cold, so yay! I quit soda pop then, I quit colas and things like that. We grew up drinking Coke, and I've never gone back to that, and I've not returned. I did return to the coffee then. On that note, this is a Memorial Day weekend. I'm retired Air Force, as you know from my channel description. If I haven't mentioned it, I am. This town is, is a, a, an army town, per se. It's not like everybody's in the army, but Many of them either are in the Army, work for the Army as civilians, are married to people who work for the Army as civilians, service the people that work on the base, which is Fort Huachuca, which is at the base, is at the base of the Huachuca Mountains, nestled right in there. The base was set up to help control, let's say, let's say protect, um, settlers to the area, ranchers and whatnot from Indian raids. And so they set themselves up at the base of the Huachuca Mountains to keep the Apache from coming through from Mexico and coming through the mountains. My point, and I digressed, was there um, are a lot of military people in the town. Uh, a lot of retirees have come back. So now I wasn't stationed here, my brother was, and I visited him one time, but I always remembered it. And well, when I wanted to snowbird in my RV um, and by myself, I felt best staying on a military base and Fort Huachuca had a great little RV park and just fell in love with the area. I'd lived in Phoenix. I'd lived, I'd been stationed in Tucson. It hot, hot, hot. I never wanted to come back to hot. We barely grew, grew grass up there if, if I got to get back to gardening. Um, we had little irrigation ditches behind our homes. I lived in an apartment with my dad, a, a duplex, and every Tuesday once a month or every other Tuesday, I couldn't remember, we had a schedule. You lift the gate, let the irrigation go through. The other person's gate is theoretically closed. It must have been on the honor system. And then it floods all the, the ground, the grass and everything, which is, it doesn't flood the road, but I guess, you know, it's, 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 dip down such that it does. It used to, it was, these apartment complexes were built on a grapefruit orchard. 
used to be a lot of uh, grapefruit and citrus uh, orchards up there in Phoenix. I know I digressed again. Listen, I don't even think this is an age thing. I think I've been doing this for years. So I came here and it was cooler and um, so we're about almost 10 degrees cooler than Tucson and then they are 10 degrees cooler than Phoenix. Let's go do a quick plant check. See what's up in the garden this morning. This is not a tour. We'll just check a few things. Most notably, those sunflowers are getting big. Again, I did not plant mammoth, nor did I plant close to the front. I only planted it along the back because I knew they needed the support. Those two in the middle are definitely mammoth, in my opinion. The one next to it is kind of questionable. I don't know why I would have put a seed so close to the front. I intended to grow flowers toward the front. But anyway, aren't they awesome to watch? And they are growing fast. Those are the volunteers. I begin to think this might be a volunteer as well. And the melons are, the muskmelon are growing. Look at this awesomeness. I still believe this is, is uh, birds and not bugs. There's no question I've got white flies I can't seem to control. This is the this is what the seed I kind of planted. I know that might be those who are in the shade. Anyway, yeah, it's getting epic. Getting epic. So you see that most of my relocated um, daylilies are not blooming in the bed. Granted, there's a little bit of shade here through a lot of the day, but those are. And what I wanted to show you is, so are these that are in this little container. Um, I didn't even know these were in here from last year. I must have planted them in the container last year. And everything started growing again this year, including that super junior, which is, I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh, proven winners. And you would know the name. What is it, Moon Glow or something? I can't remember, anyway. This one is, you know, I took the, the ones in the bed out of containers because they're going into their third year and I just felt they needed more room. So I put them, I love day lilies, and I put them in the raised bed. I divided them. But I'm surprised at the amount that is producing in a container. Doesn't that make you wonder if they're almost better in a container? Or, or... This gets full sun. Probably more the case. Got it. Resolved. <laughs> I have emptied out anything that had um, pansies in it. This had pansies. And that had pansies. Look at that little hosta. Mousy are growing so cutely. Except for this. Uh, it's just not really time, is it? But, um, and then I've got a few pansies out here in buckets. Really hard to give up on them just yet. I mean, after all, they're doing their thing, aren't they? I think they'll be going soon, and then I need to think about what to plant in there. That is a glorious photograph right there. If I can get out of the sun, just to get a photograph. I bought that Coreopsis, and while they do well on the ground, I had an extra bucket. Oh my goodness, everything is so pretty this morning, isn't it? Oh, thank you for enjoying this with me. No real skill on my part. Just coincidence, just coincidence. Oh, these are getting ready to open. You'll love these when they do. Oops. I stepped on that. I step on the ground cover a lot, but that is the point of ground covers. It is supposed to be stepped on. I am not a fan of white roses. I mean, they're, they're beautiful, you know, and I appreciate anybody that loves them. Um, not necessarily me. I'm not saying they're ugly. I'm just saying they don't do it for me. Anyway, look at the sun coming on things and just making them look so, so brilliant. 
it's probably high 50s right now and it's as cool and calm as it looks it really is so good morning to you and thank you for joining me here in the garden thanks for sharing the coffee with me i'll see you later bye